So in the previous video, we looked at what Josem is and how to get it. Today, we are going to look at the following. How to set up Josem, how to log in your account, how to get some plugins, how to set the remote control, how to get data onto and start mapping and finally uploading it. And we are going to do all this in less than 9 minutes, so stick with us. Now before I open Josem, I want to log onto my account on the browser. You see why that's important. So once I'm done, let's go over to Josem, go to edit, go to preferences, or you can just use the F12 key. Now under display, I'm going to check the box that says show username in title. And this is going to just show our username over here. Nothing crazy. Now let's log in by coming to OSM server. And once all these defaults are checked, let's go over to Authorize Now, which is fully automatic. Now by clicking, it opens our browser automatically and we just have to authorize. Remember this was just easier because we logged in already. Now we have the confirmation message to say everything successful. So let's go back to Josem. Now you see we have an access token key. Let's hit OK and you can see our username over here. Right, so let's get back to preferences again. And this time we are going to go over to plugins. Once you are here, go down and click on download list. That's going to pull all the available plugins. And then we are just simply going to search for what we're looking for. So let's try session buildings. Go ahead and check buildings tools. This is the same way we use to download any other plugin, but for now, let's just install both these tools. So you can go ahead and click OK. But before we do that, let's come over to Remote Control. Check the box to enable Remote Control. Now, this way, Josem using port 8111 will be able to talk with other software or apps like our browser. Now let's click OK. And we have our buildings tool successfully installed. Now that we got that, let's start to get some data onto Josem. And we can do this in several ways. First, let's go over to File and click Download Data. This will open up a slippery map where you can pan and zoom. So all you have to do is zoom to an area you want to map and make a selection. However, because this area seems too big, we get a message saying download area is too large and we might be having troubles with the server so let's try to select a smaller area like this and good no errors anyways once you get your data and you select it and you don't get any errors just click on download to get the data however you can also come over to the browser where you you are logged in and then navigate to an area you want to map and just go over to the left and hit the drop down next to edit remember if you click edit it will initiate id editor so let's click the drop down and choose the second option that has josem in the list this is going to trigger josem so let's go back to it and you see it's receiving and rendering the data that we sent through now this is the data and let's get an image over it by going to the imagery menu and selecting an imager. Now you have to be very mindful to select an imagery that is clear and maybe the latest, just to help everyone. Now once we have that, let's look at a couple of things before we start mapping. Now to the left, we have the mapping tools. So you can see we have our selection tools, we have the draw nodes, and all the way to the tool that we just installed, which is our builders tool. And the shortcut for that is B. Now at the top we have the toolbar and you can find each and every one of these tools and more in the menu bar here from file to help. Now on the canvas you can see the downloaded data as well as the overlay imagery and you can also see this boundary which just demarcates the area that we downloaded so it is only advisable to map within the area of download. Now if you go over to the right, we have the layers tool and what you can do is toggle the visibility by clicking on the eye tool. So enough of that, let's get to mapping and you have to zoom in to an extent where you can clearly see the boundaries of 
the buildings or the features you are going to map. So we are going to map these three buildings. So let's go over to the left and click on our tool, or you can just do B on the keyboard. Now we are going to stand at one edge of the first building and click, go to the next one, click on it and just draw over and click for the last time. And now I'm going to go ahead and do same for the other two buildings. And if you select it, you see we have our tag showing here. Key building and the value is yes to say this a building. Now go ahead and do same for the other two buildings. But the thing you have to note here is that if this was the ID editor, you need about five nodes to make a building. While else here we just use three. And even sometimes you can use two. Anyway, since we're done, let's go ahead and upload by going over to this tool. This will pull up the upload window. So we are required to add a description of what we just did. So I'm going to say add buildings, which makes sense. And I'm going to add a hashtag OSM Ghana, which is the country level OSM community that I belong to. And maybe I'm going to say 28 for 28, which is like a map contest that we are doing is a month of or it was February and just go ahead and add this once you are done go down and check this box to automatically fill the source field with every world imager which is our source imagery that we just used now if you are a beginner please check this box to help so people can help you out if there are any challenges to your mapping so let's go ahead and upload this is going to create a new change set and it is done let's click on the link to see what we just did this is open up the same area the exact area that we just mapped and if you go ahead and refresh or force refresh you'll be able to see our building showing up right here okay and before you go away, let's quickly look at how you can map a point. So we're going to use this bus stop. We're assuming it's not being mapped yet. So let's see how we map it. So go over and select your draw tool and come over to where the bus stop is located. Double click and we just created a point. And we're going to go over to presets and in this, in all these categories, let's come down to transport, come down to public transport legacy and choose bus stop. Now this thing tags already, all we have to do is add any other features that we can confirm like bench, shelter, etc. Once you are done with all that, let's come down and click apply presets. And now you can see under our tags, we have all this information that we just specified. And you can go ahead and upload this, it's really easy. And if you actually want to add more tags to any feature at all, not just by stop, come over to add and this will pull up this widget so you can browse all these keys don't forget you could also search using f3 on the keyboard which will be more easy than going through all these so that was it for this video thanks for watching hope you learned something important please keep mapping and subscribe to our channel for more videos bye